I'm starting here with uh, the final diagnosis and I have everything more or less exposed. Just to give a short explanation. The cylinder had with the valves, now all of them properly cleaned. It looks a bit like this. <coughs> then all of the mechanical and hydraulic parts. It starts as from here, where you have the cam camshaft running. Touching the hydraulic tappet. The interior of the hydraulic tappet you can see here. That is the tappet, that is the plunger, and that is the regulator that is fixing it inside. All of this I've cleaned. <coughs> so this is hydraulic key adjusting the clearance. And also make sure that the push rod goes up, touches the rocker arm, which is fixed by this bridge <coughs> on the cylinder head. And on the other side, <coughs> operating the valve, This is the spring. Here you see the retainer of two pieces, as you can see here as well. They're here, the two pieces. Yeah. And inside of the spring, you have the oil deflector, making sure that the oil doesn't enter in the engine compartment. Yeah. <clears throat> now, if you make the full diagnosis, what I noticed is that my valves are now cleaned. They're turning well, they're moving well, as it's supposed to be, so no more sticky valves, so this problem should be okay. However, if I would measure, you have to do this from the other side, but if I measure <coughs> the valve to stem clearance, I'm actually a little bit beyond what <coughs> the manual is proposing. So in principle I should bore the valve guidance, by oversized valves. Then it is best also to change <coughs> the springs. Might even have to change the rocker arms. <coughs> Buy some new push rods. What you can see as well is that <coughs> where the tappets are touching the camshaft, it is worn out. In fact, it should be a bulb, but actually it is kind of a hole. And that means these need to be replaced. But if you replace these, you will have to replace the camshaft as well. If you replace the camshaft, you obviously replace the timing chain. So this is a huge <coughs> effort, yeah? And if you would consider doing that, it would be recommended to change the camshaft by a competition camshaft, yeah? especially for 4x4. Four four. Now, <coughs> this is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to put everything back together, <coughs> all the parts as they were. The only thing that I'm replacing is the pushed bent rods and the oil deflectors. So these I will replace because this is kind of a plastic, but I notice that it becomes very hard. It should be a little bit flexible and one was broken anyway, so I better replace those. And then I'm going to assemble everything. I made my list of everything to be replaced, and then I hope my engine will start, yeah?